But then when the article came out, he texted me again and said that uh, he never said hell no. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not what the implications were. Uh, but I do feel like when it, you know, when the headline dropped, obviously we knew it was coming. But when the headline on TMZ came out, I feel like you were a little nervous. Well, because I you know? feel like, you know, from day one, we've been literally we I felt like our parents were like not in a bad situation about us. You know, I think mm -hmm. like it's not ideal, like for Larsa to be with Marcus or Marcus to be with Larsa. And I think yeah. in the beginning, it was a lot of shock value to it. Mm -hmm. Our families would in the beginning would have rather us not be together. Right. I think it was, it was something that just happened organically. Yeah. Um, but I do feel like you were nervous just because of how often you take stock in your relationships. And so I think a part of you thought maybe was I telling you all the full truth? And Well, I feel like it's, you know, it, it's it's a situation. Yeah. No. Nah, and, and simultaneously, I'm mm. dying laughing. You know, yeah. You I thought it was funny. It was hilarious to me. Just I didn't think I know it was my, funny. There's nothing funny about it. I'm I like, know my dad. Right. And I know, you know, obviously my whole family, we're all competitive. The Jordans is like part of our DNA is to talk shit, you know, and yeah. it gets us going and gets us motivated. And so when I saw it immediately, I thought. Like he's playing, he's being jo joking, he's laughing, he's, you know, just being playful. He's, you know, a little lit, maybe off the Sincoro, walking out of Matignon. And so, you know, I didn't put too much weight into it, but I know that it made you a little nervous. And so when he texted and called and obviously wanted to make sure we didn't take things the wrong way, I think it helped you feel a little more at ease. And obviously he thought of the timing. Uh, his, his goal has always been to, you know, stay clear of our relationship. I think, look, at the root of it all, obviously, is my dad's relationship with your ex, Scotty. And so, you know, obviously we never talk about that. And I don't think that my dad wanted to comment on that. There's always that narrative, that the rumor that I'm dating you in some sort of way to get back at whatever was said. And so I think... You know, if my dad comes out and says yes, he's fueling that narrative of, okay, whatever. What is up, my beautiful rosebuds? Who's the nicest with the vices? Blowing up like ice. about to sip on Can't some tea. Which Irish, like a rack of nuclear devices. I might live in China. Because I made it like girl, a girl. It's free, man. Super sad with the tail. Yeah, I'm always going ape shit. Tasteless. I do this like an agent in the making. That might be for Rosebuds. Of course, it is your favorite Rosebud, Nisi K. And your girl is back with a back, back with another one. Back with a back, back with another one. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, your girl is back with another little video for you guys. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how Larsa Pippen is over here talking about how she is embarrassed over Michael Jordan's comment on her relationship with his son Marcus. Yes, so I did do a video about how recently legendary basketball player Michael Jordan put egg on Larza's face when he went out of his way from the norm to express his disapproval of Larza and his son's relationship yeah. right after she was publicly bragging about getting along with the family and spending holidays with the parents during an interview. Now, Larza is saying she is traumatized after finding out publicly that her booze parents, well, at least Papa Bear, do not accept her. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into this tea. But before we do, as I always say, go ahead and show your girl some love and like this video. Subscribe to your girl. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that when I do upload more videos, you guys will be alerted and you can see my beautiful face or hear my marvelous voice come across your screen or both. And follow, 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 follow your girl. It is free 99. All my social media is under gossip at 87. Without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get into this tea. So Larza Pimpin, who is 49, of course, is dating Marcus Jordan, who is 32. And she was out here really bragging about how Marcus's family and his parents get along with her and how they sent, uh, spend holidays together and just painting this fairy tale life that Michael Jordan quickly popped by straying away Ain't from his enough. norm of not talking to the paparazzi and not saying anything to them just to specifically let the public know that he in fact does not approve of his son's girlfriend. And now the cougar is traumatized by his simple answer of no to the question. Girl, why? 
So as I had reported, Larza and Marcus have a podcast together called Separation Anxiety. And their latest episode, where it is uh, titled Father's Knows, Father Knows Best, Larza actually responded to the video clip along with Marcus. And Larza was expressing herself as feeling more embarrassed than anything. And she made a comment during the uh, podcast where she said, Indeed. you thought it was funny. I didn't think it was funny. There is nothing funny about it. I kind of felt like it went everywhere and I was kind of embarrassed. And obviously Larza is in her feelings because of what the public is saying after that viral video as she continued explaining her thoughts on it. And she goes on to further say, it literally went everywhere. I think people started to think that online they were saying that I was lying that I lied and said that our parents are fine because I was doing interviews and saying both of our families are fine. And then she went on to say, when I would say that, I felt like I didn't embellish that and I would say both of our parents want us to be happy. I do understand that it's not that it's not awkward to us to be together because it's us. But it probably is awkward for my ex, Scotty Pippen, and your dad because they have their own relationship or whatever it is i wasn't a part of that you weren't a part of that so i feel like for them it probably is weird it probably is weird for your dad i can't be mad i understand oh my god i was so traumatized i was like what are we going to do people think i lied right now so yeah that was her response on the particular situation now me personally i like marcus's take on the situation and what larza doesn't sit here and literally think about is when marcus's take on the situation marcus has pretty much already said without saying that oh no my dad is not okay with our relationship but he deals with it because i'm his son and he loves me and y'all are probably sitting here like well why do you think he said that like why do you why are you taking it that way now here is what he said right so on the podcast he said i can make my own decisions he doesn't need to approve who i date or my personal relationships he's gonna love me no matter what i think that's what the takeaway uh focus from the conversation but of course no one sees that they just see the headlines no shade. So right there, me personally, like I said, here said it, it, it like okay, hair flip, hair flip. Because rem- if y'all did listen to that video before y'all listened to this one, and if y'all didn't, I need to go back and check out that video. I sat there and I said in the video, the first video, that nine times out of ten, Larza took a situation to where that where Michael Jordan and the family are tolerant yep. of her you get what I'm saying and cordial with her because she is with um, their child as them being accepting of the relationship and okay with the relationship when in reality no they're not they're, they're not at all it's just that hey while I might not be okay with the relationship this is your life this is you I can't control you as a person you are a grown man you're 32 years old I'm just gonna stand behind you and if you need me I'm here but I'll stand behind you and let you live your life and basically with Marcus's comment on the situation that's exactly what I he said (laughs) you know what I'm saying just not with as much detail and like I did but honestly like in the situation i even sat here and said and that's why i'm sitting here like it's funny because um she even acknowledges um larza even acknowledges that she understands and that she realizes it might be weird for michael jordan especially because michael jordan does not get along with scotty pippen and she is scotty pippen's ex-wife so it might be awkward for him so for her like that's why i don't understand for her to even be sitting here trying to go online and make it like you put your foot in your mouth you put your foot in your mouth now what i do think is funny is because marcus um pretty much was explaining it as if he thinks his dad comment was simply simply a drunk a drunken joke and that he did explain that uh his dad did text him to urge him not to take the comment seriously now him saying don't take the comment seriously does not mean it's a joke he's just telling you hey don't take the comment serious like it is what it is you you do you 
and like I even sat here and said even though he's trying to like you know uh soften the blow or trying to make it like you know express it in a way of course he's doing this for me he's doing this more to try to um uh pacify Larza because of course like I Larza sat here and said she is embarrassed she feels embarrassed she is traumatized because she was all out here in the public publicly making it as if Girl. like oh everything's great between me and his family everything's good and at the snap of a finger his dad just sat here and and demolished everything that she was saying by saying no no now with what marcus said about he thinks it was a drunken joke come on this man over years and decades and decades ain't never once say nothing to the paparazzi ain't never once answer no questions none of that and you mean to tell me this one time this one time he decides that this is gonna be the day he's gonna sit here and actually go out the norm and respond to a paparazzi but it's just a joke no he wasn't joking he was being serious and he was letting the world know that he does not accept the relationship because at the same time you got to sit here and think about it the world is wondering if he accepts this relationship the world is wondering if he's okay with it so he's addressing the situation but he's telling his son don't take it serious don't worry about it because while i don't accept it like you are a grown man you can do you and even i feel like his son knows this too because that's why he said it in the way that he did when he explained about him being able to make his own decisions and how he doesn't need uh his dad's approval of who he date or his personal relationships and then that's the thing it's like i'm pretty sure his dad knows that his son is going to do whatever he wants to do whether he approves or not like i sat here and said larza just put egg on her face she jumped the gun she was out here doing the most and even like i said in my other video even if it wasn't the situation where scotty pippen and michael jordan didn't get along the simple way that nine times as a parent they could be even though they're like you know moving on and they're like okay i'm just gonna accept the situation nine times out of ten the fact that their 32 year old son is with a 49 year old woman uh is making them uncomfortable and and, and they don't agree with it especially like i sat here and said when you think about starting family families and all types of other things like age do comes into consideration like a lot of people want to sit here and try to act like age ain't nothing but a number but when it comes to a lot of things especially like having children and all that other stuff age does become a factor it does and that's just there's nothing wrong with it that's just the part of life but and, and you got to be realistic but all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna end this video right here i want you guys to go ahead and comment down below y'all let me know what y'all think on this particular situation do y'all feel like uh larza pretty much put egg on her face and that she went out here bragging trying to make it seem like everything is good between her and michael jordan when in reality it wasn't and now she's out here trying to uh backpedal and, and make it seem like um it, she thought that everything was good because they never said anything and this that and the other even though now she's bringing up the situation about Scottie Pippen and, and Michael Jordan like do you what do y'all think on that particular situation or do y'all feel like me as well as uh, agree with what Marcus was saying where like pretty much it doesn't matter if uh Michael Jordan uh care uh, is um accepting of the relationship or not he's a grown man he gonna do whatever he want to do and how uh he knows this and so he was tolerant of her and cordial due to her being with his son but he does not accept the relationship y'all go ahead and y'all comment down below y'all let me know what y'all think on this particular situation or do y'all feel like this what the son is saying about him um having a simple drunken joke was the case i don't know what I don't believe that at all. I don't believe that shit, but whatever. So y'all go ahead and y'all comment down below. Y'all let me know what y'all think on the situation. Also, go ahead and show your girl some love and like this video, share this video, subscribe to your girl, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that when I do upload more videos, you guys will be alerted and you can see my beautiful face or hear my marvelous voice come across your screen or both. And follow, 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 follow. It is free 99. All social media is under GossipBud87. And without further ado, your girl is Audi. Bye. Super Saiyan. I'm just Super Saiyan. I ain't green like Piccolo. Follow your girl. Like Piccolo, it's free like 99. Fuck Trump, it's political. Yeah. Get a punchline this time, literal.